today for this introduction, especially with the rain outside. It's really early, so thank you for joining us. My name is Gregory Bryant. I'm the Senior Vice President of the Client Computing Group at Intel, and uh, just really my pleasure to host you here today at the Intel Experience Zone. Now, hopefully a lot of you had a chance last night to go to the keynote that BK did, um, and, I, and, and we covered a lot of ground last night. For me, if, if not, there were two really main takeaways for me. One is how really d data is transforming really several industries, and it's having this major transformative and disruptive impact. And the second is just how at Intel, you know, we are at the forefront of driving innovation in a lot of those key areas. Now last night in the keynote, he covered a wide range of topics from autonomous driving, immersive media, we talked about AI, we hit on neuromorphic computing, quantum computing, he made several announcements. I won't rehash them all for you here this morning. Um, but what I, did, I, what I did want to do was just have you rest assured that we're investing to drive in innovation in all those areas. And, but the idea today was instead of me just talking about it, was to give you all an opportunity to go see and feel these demonstrations and these technologies for yourself. And the team here, I think you'll see, I think has done just an amazing job this year. I've been coming here for several years. I'm sure many of you have as well. Um, there are just some really jaw-dropping demos this year, um, and it's just a beautiful area. So with that, let me just tell you just a brief landscape quickly. First, we've got kind of the autonomous driving area over here on my left. I'm going to talk a little bit about the AI area in the back, artificial intelligence. We've got the 5G tunnel and 5G superhighway. We've got the Olympic zone, and then we've got the VR zone. So I'm just going to touch on them just really briefly, each one quickly, to give you kind of an idea of what to expect. Let me just start with the autonomous driving area on my left. Uh, we made several announcements last night about you know, our partnerships, our roadmap, our platform on autonomous driving. What we wanted to do with the demonstration was to give you kind of a bird's eye view, almost being able to get inside an autonomous vehicle. And that's why you see the transparent vehicle on my left. Um, as you come up to the car, you know, the screen lights up and you can actually, it'll, it'll point out and light up the different technologies that are working inside the car that make the autonomous driving possible, okay? And, and by bringing all the technologies together, it's something uniquely that we do at Intel. By bringing all those technologies together, you kind of give that car like near human-like processing power and senses. So for example, you'll see how the Mobileye platform, right, really provides the eyes of that vehicle all around the car to sense objects around the car, right? You'll also see how the computing and the connectivity platform inside the car operates, right? And that's kind of, kind of the brains and the, and the and kind of the nervous system in the car, you know, come together. So that'll light up and you'll see how all the technologies come together. And then what we have right next to it is in the BMW is an actual car instrumented with the exact same technologies. It's part of their autonomous driving fleet just right next to it. Okay, moving on to the 5G area. Now I know a lot of you know 5G is the next generation communications platform. Uh, but it's a lot more, you know, than just providing the next generation of communications to your phone, right? The, the, the applications and the opportunities in 5G are pretty tremendous. So what we did to, to demonstrate that this year is we built this LED, this 5G LED tunnel. And you actually go into the tunnel and as you go through the tunnel, we talk about a few use scenarios for 5G that we think will really be different. Um, we start with the safe connected car, right? So it just comes coming right off the autonomous driving as a use for 5G. Second, there's an example of smart cities and how smart cities can use 5G, right? For better city planning, traffic management, etc. And then lastly, we've got an uh, example of how just the high bandwidth and low latency of 5G can bring some brand new experiences to life. So in this case, things that are data intensive, intensive like truly mobile uh, augmented reality will use 5G to kind of unleash the power of aug augmented reality in a truly mobile way. So those are the three things there. So if you haven't had a chance to find out more about that, I think it's a good one to go visit. Okay, in the very back, there's the AI tower. That was pretty cool. You can actually take a, a tablet and it has computer vision and you hold it up to the tower and it'll go through a few different AI scenarios. And then right, right in front of us, or right behind you, 
Uh, the one that we talked about last night and BK introduced last night was our partnership with Ferrari. And we're gonna bring AI to the Ferrari Challenger North America series. Um, and not only are we using AI kind of obviously to help improve the performance of the drivers and the teams, which we're doing, um, but we're also using AI to kind of change the whole fan experience. So, you know, being able to detect objects and cars and how you follow the, the, the team or the racer that you're interested in. And then what about different events? One car passes another. Maybe there's an accident or something happens. You can zero in on that, see it, and replay it. And that's all been virtual reality. There's a full virtual reality experience around that that you can try out for yourselves right there. I shouldn't give away the secret, but, uh, but you know, one of our senior executives was actually driving one of the race cars in that virtual reality experience. So I'll have to figure out who that was. Okay, so that's, uh, that's AI. That brings me to the Olympic zone over here on the right. Um, as you know, we're sponsoring the Winter Olympics this year and in the zone, we've got, we, we kind of wanted to give you a flavor for what it would be like to be an athlete at the Winter Olympics or an esports professional you know, around the world. So we have a VR Olympics experience where you can try steep and you can actually try the courses in VR themselves, some of the courses that the athletes will be trying in the Olympics right there. And it's, uh, you know, we're sponsoring the Olympics. Um, we're also, as a leader in esports, uh, we've been working to bring uh, gaming and now virtual reality to esports for the first time. So we have a special esports experience uh, over here as well, uh, close, to the, close to the Olympics. Okay, and that kind of brings me to the final area that I wanted to talk about today, which is VR, the VR area, which is kind of just, just behind over here on the right. Um, obviously, VR is being used heavily throughout the experience zone as a way to, to demonstrate different products and technologies, but we wanted to have something specifically set up for VR. Now, last night, we actually had an announcement that we were working with Sansar on social VR. We have that demonstrated over here today, the Sansar environment, where we've replicated this entire booth in virtual reality and actually augmented it with even some kind of new little nuggets inside the VR, you know, the VR experience. But I think what's cool, which you'll, which you'll be able to see more than just the social VR is, uh, it's being shown uh, in partnership with HTC on the Vive Pro with the Vive wireless adapter. And that wireless adapter uses Intel Wi-Gate technology, so there's no wire between the HMD headset for VR and the, and the PC that's driving it. And they announced that yesterday, availability in 2018, and you can actually see that and use it yourself and see how good it is, see how smooth it is, see how fast it is. Um, so that's pretty neat. The other experience that we have in VR is you can actually go onto a motherboard and then in VR walk inside an eighth generation core processor. So we did an eighth generation core processor in VR and you can walk around and see the cores and see the memory, it's pretty neat. Um, my group actually, I run CCG, so we make the eighth generation core processor. So selfishly, I really like that one. Um, and in fact, there's a whole little area over here, a whole little cube that has some of the latest, if you wanna check out some of the latest eighth generation core devices, two-in-ones, um, notebooks are over here on this device. And then I thought I'd just make a little bit of news this morning and tell you um, that um, as we talked about before, we said we would be shipping our first 10 nanometer codename Cannon Lake parts just before the end of the year. We're actually, we actually did that. So we started shipping our first 10 nanometer codename Cannon Lake parts just before the end of the year. And we're on schedule to be ramping throughout 2018 as we said previously. Um, so in summary, hopefully between the keynote last night, the time you're spending here with us this morning, you'll really get a feel for how we're trying to harness the power of all this data to create some pretty amazing new experiences. For me personally, what I find probably the most fascinating and I'm passionate about is how when they're done well, the technology kind of fades away into the background and the experiences get way more intuitive, way more natural. And I, to me, that's just really key how these things take off and become mainstream and it's what I'm most excited about. You're gonna hear me talk about that more, more over the course of 2018. Uh, we've got a lot of exciting things in store for this coming year, but that's probably enough for me today. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the experience zone, your time with us. Thank you so much for joining us and obviously have a great show. There's a lot of experts around for you to talk to and ask questions. So 
you know, please take advantage and let us know what we can do for you. So with that, thank you very much, and I'll turn it over to Carrie. Carrie.